A lot of our projects are bathroom renovations. Uh, some have uh, smaller budgets and we use a lot of uh, ready-made uh, fixtures and we have some uh, projects that have larger budgets, which would be in the luxury category. This particular project had a healthy mid-range budget, and it's perfectly suited for the size of a bathroom that this is. It's a nine by nine, uh, great size bathroom. The original bathroom had maple cabinetry, beige tiles. It had a tiny, super dark shower, and it had a typical tub that was under the window. It was not very functional, and really felt dated. The original layout of the bathroom was pretty good. We tweaked it a little bit. What we did though is we eliminated the bathtub. So we decided to give them a big walk-in shower instead. A lot of clients who have not done renovations prior are unsure about what the cost of a bathroom renovation will cost. The bulk of the money went to the construction fees. This is a fairly new home, so there were no unexpected elements, no surprises to anticipate. So the construction fees for this particular project were $15,000. It included demolition, installation of all the finishes, the fixtures, obviously putting in all new plumbing, all new electrical throughout. It's really, really important to do your research, interview contractors, to spend the right amount of money for hiring the contractor that is the right fit for your project. The next bigger portion of the budget went towards the custom vanity. I think with a mid-range budget, it's important to invest in custom elements because that's what sets your bathroom apart from a cookie cutter bathroom. We spent $3,000 on the custom vanity, but it got us exactly what we wanted for the space. We gave these clients the storage that they really, really wanted in this space. We also splurged on a beautiful quartz countertop and some shelving above the vanity to have a little bit of display and fun. So the next portion of the funds went towards tiles. We did have a lot of square footage to deal with. We spent $2,300 on the tiles. We chose porcelain tiles for all the finishes here because they are low maintenance. They are much better suited for this particular space than marble would have been. Marble would have taken us over budget. We spent $1,800 on the plumbing fixtures. We went to a specialty store to get the best fixtures that we could for our budget. It's worth investing in really good fixtures because they're gonna last your lifetime. The hardware in any project makes a big difference. So we spent a little bit more on the hardware and found the perfect mirror component, lighting, towel hooks that really completed this project for us. We spent $300 on the mirror from Pottery Barn and we also spent $300 on the hardware and the hooks. We found two sconces that checked all the boxes for us and they were $185 each. We discovered this new line of vent covers that are super cool and this is the very first project that we used them in. They are called Aria Vents and they seamlessly fit into the flooring and they are super sleek. They were $75 but well worth the money spent on them. When getting ready for a renovation or for us for a project, I always put a chunk of the budget aside for accessories and finishing touches. In this case, we spent a little bit on accessories for the exposed shelves and we sourced beautiful artwork for this space that really completes the look. We sourced a teak bench for the shower and some fun little accessories that are found throughout. We spent $600 on the artwork and $500 on the accessories. It makes all the difference. This is a great example of how to do a mid-sized bathroom on a budget of $25,000 with beautiful finishes and custom elements. And it turned out fantastic. The clients are extremely happy. They got everything that they wished for and we are happy for them. They love their mornings in here now.